All right, hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I'm really excited to jump in here and show you uh, this week's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed last week. On that one, if you've not watched it, you can go back and watch it here. And what that does is it shows you how I run tracks. Very simple, uh, super easy to do. Uh, this week, I'm gonna show you how to program a MIDI clip to actually stop that track. So let's say that you're, you've done the first song and uh, it comes time for offering. You want that track to automatically stop. I think the goal here is to uh, be as disconnected from the computer as we can so that we can actually worship. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna program a MIDI clip and we're gonna use the IEC driver to route MIDI back into Ableton to the stop. Ableton will stop by itself. So that's the goal. So let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so let's open up Ableton. Here we go, this is Ableton. Um, so what I'm gonna do, you should be able to hear this if I play. Okay, Okay. so you know, it's working great. We get here uh, to the end of the song and uh, we, want, we want Ableton to stop, you know, when it gets back here to the end of the song. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a MIDI track, okay? So we're gonna hit Command Shift T. An important thing before we jump into this section, you want to go to um, Audio MIDI Setup. So if you go to your spotlight, type in Audio MIDI, it should come up there, you'll hit it. it and from here, you wanna hit the Window button to bring up your MIDI Studio. And there should be something here that's called the IAC driver. What you want to do is you want to click that. You want to make sure that bus one is, is on and that device is online is checked. If you don't have the bus showing up here, you can always come here and hit the plus button and it'll come up. Uh, so we want that to be on bus one. Now, also, if we go back to Ableton, um, we're going to go jump in here and go to preferences and um, under our MIDI, uh, MIDI um, section here, the IEC driver should be showing up. For input, you wanna make sure that on is selected. For output, you wanna make sure that on for track is selected. Uh, and I should have said input remote is on. Um, a little MIDI section, okay? I'm just gonna drag this back so it stops. Uh, we'll make it stop right at the end. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to go here and pick a note. Doesn't matter what note, we're just going to pick one. So here we go, F0, we're going to drag it out just so we can see. It doesn't have to be long, it can be super short. Okay, let's make this smaller. Okay, um, and I'm going to label this stop. And when I think stop, I always think red, so I'm just going to change the color to red. I should have already done that. But that's okay. I'm gonna change it here. Okay, so here we have our MIDI track. Now, um, I tried to do this and forever I had a problem. It would not work and I was like, what in the world is going on? So there's a particular order that you have to do this. It's very important that you do this in this order. So you're gonna go up here and you're gonna hit the MIDI tab. Anything that shows up in this purple color, you can now map for your MIDI, okay? So what we're gonna do, first of all, I'm gonna disable that. We're gonna make the output here be the IAC driver, all right? So now we're gonna hit the MIDI button. What should happen is I'm gonna play the song and as it's playing, I'm gonna hit stop and then the MIDI note that we programmed in will then be programmed to the stop. So I'm gonna hit MIDI. I'm gonna come back here and play a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit the stop button. Now you should see it map. Okay, if you look right here, this change, you can see that. All right, um, we can see that we programmed that to F0, it's to the stop. So now what should happen when we undo that, undo the MIDI, if we should be playing along and the track should stop. Let's test it out. We're playing here, working great. Now it should automatically stop. And it did. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to click uh, like and subscribe. Leave me a comment on here if this is helpful. And also if there's any other tutorials on Ableton that you uh, would like to have help with, uh, whether it's lighting or anything, just let me know. We will um, we'll take a look at it and see if what we can do to help you. Um, so this is a simple, how just showing how to stop. There's tons of things you can do uh, with the IAC driver. Um, and so it's really helpful. I will say the only thing here, this is not available on Windows. There's some third-party plugins that act like the IAC driver, but the IAC driver is specific to my Mac, um, so that is uh, one downside. Um, but most guys are running tracks on Macs the majority of the time is what I see. So, um, so it's very simple, easy to do, and uh, hopefully this helps you out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please subscribe. It helps me out and uh, lets me know if you like these videos. So thanks. Have a great day. God bless.